Hi Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising. I'm Christy Forsyth with Clarity by Christy and I'm here for you today with your month of July 2019 tarot scope. So we are going to be diving in to what are the overarching themes, what do you need to know, and how can you best navigate this month of July. So we will dive right in with your cards. Let's see what we have to say about the overarching theme for this month for you. Okay, so here we have the Ace of Fire. Okay, so there are exciting new opportunities that are trying to come in for you. There are awesome things that are coming in that are absolutely going to change your life. Now, you're going to want to make sure that you're patient because they're trying to come through, but it's not the right timing. And I, I, I truly feel like this Mercury retrograde energy that we have going on through the month of most of July is part of that, right? This is going to be a time for reflection. This is going to be a time to take a little bit of extra rest, to pull away a little bit, to find balance. And um, the opportunities will come, but I feel like you just need to be patient. You just need to understand that it's lying on the other side of this energy. And I think as we move into August, even better things are coming. But understand that opportunities are trying to come your way and so try not to be too impatient you know whatever it is that you've been trying to work on that you've been trying to manifest that you've been trying to wait for keep the patience you know keep the faith keep stay in it because it's coming you just have to hold out faith you know you have to trust that God will deliver that in exactly the right timing for you so let's take a look at what the challenges and barriers are going to be for the month of July. So here we have the dreamer card. Okay. So the dreamer card, this is like, so we're feeling that energy of new opportunities that are trying to come in, but we're feeling a little blocked from this. And what you're needing to do is jump, right? You're needing to take a leap of faith in whatever it is that you're needing to do. That leap of faith might be being vulnerable with someone. That leap of faith might be speaking your truth. That leap of faith might be something really big, like leaving your job or leaving a relationship or changing something big in your life. So these energies that are trying to come through, that are trying to bring new opportunities, that are trying to bring new energy will come after you take the leap. After you dive in, after you uh, take steps forward. Now, we are in a retrograde, like I said, for most of the month of July. So, you know, you probably are going to want to hold off until we're getting to the very end of the month. But um, if you are feeling intuitively compelled, sometimes it is important to start new things during a Mercury retrograde, or it is important to get things going. And so we don't always have to stick to that idea that you don't start anything new during a Mercury retrograde. If Especially if you've already been laying the groundwork, you've already been setting things up, and it's just a matter of taking a leap. So if you intuitively feel compelled to take a leap, I want you to take a leap. And then especially as we get toward the end of the month, you're going to find that you're going to be compelled to do that. This is also talking about unexpected opportunities. So watch for opportunities to come in that are different than what you expected. They are not the ex exact way that you thought they would be. They're not... Um, you know, maybe how you envision them to be, but don't let that block you because if you let that block you, you are going to miss out on some awesome stuff that's even better than what you've already been trying to manifest. So let those opportunities come in and let yourself keep your eyes open to the possibilities that are trying to come in. Now, the next card that we're going to take a look at is what's um, going well and how can we help to foster that? Okay, so here we have the the Ace of Earth, okay? Reverse. So um, this card itself says, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts, okay? So I think that we do have, again, some abundance that's trying to come in, some money that's trying to come in, some opportunity that's trying to come in. This is reverse, so it's feeling a little bit blocked right now. Um, you want to make sure that you are listening to that intuition on the timing of things. Sign contracts when that feels correct when that feels in alignment and if you're noticing that that's getting blocked if somebody's canceling when they're supposed to show up and sign something with you or um you know there's an opportunity and that meeting gets canceled or something like that 
allow it to be canceled. Allow, don't try to push it. Don't try to push through that day. Let it happen because this is the universe protecting you and allowing the exact divine timing of things. Here again, we are talking about divine timings, but I, I do think that if we can just allow ourselves to flow through this month, if we can let this happen and just let things show up for us, this is where the abundance will flow and um, how it's going to feel like it's going really, really well. So I do feel a release with that as we move through the month. I do feel like if you are allowing yourself to flow and to trust the process of things, that you're going to experience some money coming in or some opportunities coming or some other positive things showing up in your life. Now, what action should you take for this month? Let's see what we've got here. Okay, so here we have Ace of Water again with the Aces. You have a lot of a lot going on in a lot of areas of your life, and um, you know I think that it's kind of like things being shaken up in so many ways and trying to realign your life. I think that you've had a lot going on. I think that you are. Um, kind of switching tracks in a lot of ways in your life. I just kind of see like a train track and the way that, you know, when it's time to go on to a new track, the tracks move to a different track. And I kind of feel like that's this, is your life is starting to change. Your life is starting to get off the path maybe that you had envisioned it would be. And it's shifting, it's changing, but it's all really positive. And the Ace of Water suggests that there's a beautiful energy around the relationships in your life. This could be um, you know, a reconnection with someone who is uh, really important for you in your life, whether that's a soulmate connection, whether that's a soul family connection. This can also be a falling in love energy or connecting with your ultimate twin flame, soulmate, that kind of energy. So this is a beautiful energy. This can also mean um, just feeling more connected spiritually and intuitively. So you may find this month that you're feeling very intuitive, very connected to your spirituality. Let yourself connect with that spirituality. Let the spirituality get you through the challenging times. I know for me, one of my most helpful and important beliefs that I have is that everything happens for a reason. And because I have that belief, it helps me to deal with whatever challenges come my way because I kind of just trust that God knows what the heck he's doing and um, that, you know, if something doesn't work out for me or if something is challenging, that it is for a lesson or a purpose or something better is coming my way. So the more that you can connect with that spirituality, it's going to help you with the tough things that you have going on for this month. Now let's take a look at your last card and this is what else do you need to know for this month. Okay, so Six of Earth confirms that money is looking good for this month, that abundance, gifts, um, opportunities, time. You may find yourself with a little extra time on your hands, which is always great. Um, you might find yourself having new career opportunities coming in. You may also find that, um, you know, just extra money is flowing in and it's allowing you to address different things that you needed to address. Maybe an old bill that you've been waiting and putting off and you haven't had the money to pay that suddenly you're able to pay. Or um, maybe it gives you an opportunity to shake things up with your finances so that you can get make some progress with things and move some things around and shift some things or maybe it allows you to have a little bit of extra money that creates a new opportunity for you maybe it's the opportunity to start that business to do that thing to um you know buy that home whatever it is but extra money um money related opportunities that will help change your life in some really big ways. So that is your month of July 2019 tarot scope. If you want to learn more about me or about Clarity by Christy, you can check me out at discoveryourawakening.com. And please guys, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It helps to support the channel and you get notifications for every video that I upload here on the channel. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Take care.